Take these measurements. Circumference of where your skirt will rest. Desired skirt length. Desired pleat size. To determine fabric width. For side pleats, you will multiply your LW measurement by 2. For box slash inverted pleats, you will multiply your LW measurement by 3. For side pleats with one box pleat, you will multiply your LW measurement by 2 and add your desired pleat size. Make sure to add seam allowance to your final number. First, you're going to start out by marking your desired skirt length along your fabric. Connect the marks you made with a ruler and cut your fabric out. Hem the end of your fabric before we begin pleating. This will be much easier than hemming your fabric after pleating. Now we are going to mark our pleats out on our fabric. You'll start out at one of your sides of your fabric, marking your seam allowance, then go on to mark your desired pleat size length along your fabric until you reach the end. Also mark the midpoint of your fabric. We are going to start off with side pleats. Pinch up at the first mark and bring it over to your seam allowance mark. Pin your pleat into place. To make the next pleat, skip the second mark and go to the third one. Pinch up at the third mark and bring it over to the second mark. Pin into place. And repeat until you reach the end of the fabric. To make box slash inverted pleats, start off at the first mark and bring it to the seam allowance mark. Pin into place. Next, start at the second mark and bring it to the third mark. Again, pin into place. Now, start at the 4th mark and bring it to the 3rd mark again. Repeat until you reach the end of the fabric. For side pleats with one box pleat, you'll start off at the middle mark. Take the mark to the left of the middle mark and bring it to the adjacent mark. Now I'm sure you know what to do. Put it into place.
Repeat the same steps but on the mark to the right of the middle mark. Now you're going to start side pleating. Take the next mark on either side of your box pleat and bring it to the adjacent mark. Repeat on the other side of your box pleat until you reach the end of your fabric. Next, throw your zipper on your skirt. Just kidding. Attach your zipper on either side of your skirt. Now, cut out your waistband. It can be one continuous piece, or if you don't have enough fabric, you can cut two pieces out. If you cut two pieces out, open up the seam and press it with an iron. Then, you'll fold your waistband in half and iron it down. Take your pleated fabric right side up and align your waistband along the top edge of your skirt. Open up your waistband and sew up that one side. Do not sew both sides folded together. Take your pins out of your skirt and iron down your pleats. Also iron down a small section at the top of your waistband. 